Hola, bienvenidos. Welcome to Magical Catemaco. Buenos dias, good morning country collectors, and welcome to Cate Mako. This city is known for its beautiful freshwater lake, jungle surroundings, as well as its tradition in witchcraft. Ooh. <laughs> we can't wait to show you around, but before we get started, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss out on any of our future adventures. And please leave us a comment. Mm -hmm. We love to hear from you. We sure do. Well, let's start with how we got here. At the Adeo bus station in Eroica, Veracruz, we bought tickets for two 288 pesos each headed to Catemaco. The beautiful 170 kilometer journey took three and a half hours. Once in Catemaco, we got a taxi for 20 pesos to our accommodation. In this video, we are staying in two places. First, we booked two nights here in town, and then we also booked two nights in Nanciaga, which is an ecological reserve located seven kilometers away. We're staying in town at Mar y Azul. Our cozy room features a comfortable bed, TV, AC, and a private bathroom for $22 a night. So unlike most of our videos where we arrive a few days prior to get a good lay of the land, we just arrived here yesterday afternoon. We did do a quick walkthrough, but we don't know anything really about this place, nothing in depth. So today we are going to be figuring it out together. Are you up for this? You know I am. <laughs> well, I hope you are. <laughs> I believe in us. We got this. Let's do it. Oh yeah, baby. Feeling <laughs> that burn. Just getting in my daily morning workout. Sure. I'm just kidding. I don't do a daily morning workout. All right, let's really get this day started. First thing on the menu for today, breakfast. And this place smells delicious. Let's head in. What a cute spot. They had some nice relaxing music playing in the background. Both our meals came with fruit and coffee. Adam got the gorditas de guisos, which were so incredibly tasty. And I went with the huevos con longaniza. The owners were so sweet and brought out some globitos for us to try. Simply delicious. We definitely recommend eating here while you're in Catemaco. I could go to bed after that meal. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> I am stuffed, but now that we're fueled up, let's keep this day moving. It looks like we have found the main plaza here. Wow, that bird almost took my head <laughs> off. Behind me, it looks like the municipal palace. And in front of us, this has to be the main cathedral. It's so pretty, white with this like royal blue. I've never seen anything like it. Yeah, so this seems like the main meeting point in town. Wonderful place to come down, people watch, get some food and just relax. Right outside the Basilica, they have this small market here that is selling religious keepsakes as well as some souvenirs. But right now, I wanna go check out the main draw of this town. Come with us. Oh, wow, that's really neat. It looks like they just completed this cobblestone road right here. And this is a cement imprint of a huge leaf. You can see everything down to the tiny little veins in it. There's even some smaller ones as you go down. I love that. Hey, big fella. And I'm not talking about you. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> Finally, I feel like a small fella next to this guy. Welcome to Laguna Catemaco. We read that this freshwater lake was actually formed by a volcano and is fed by natural springs. It's over 10 kilometers long and even features some islands. Up and down the Malacan, you're gonna have multiple people approaching you, asking you if you want to go on a lancha to take a boat tour of the lake. It seems like the thing to do here. Behind me here, you can see all the spots that they take you to it looks like a lot of stuff i'm not sure the duration but it says the price here for the big boat is 1200 pesos privado or 200 pesos each for like the collectivo so you're gonna be in a boat with strangers but you know what strangers are they're just friends you haven't made yet exactly so let's go get on one of these boats so we have found ourselves down here at what looks like the main dock i guess and you buy your boletos your tickets here at the windows we have procured the tickets oh good word <laughs> we're walking down the dock right now and the lancha is just pulling up are you excited i know i'm excited yeah we're so happy you're here with us let's do this yeah baby watch, watch that cabeza <laughs> gracias hasta luego and we're off oh my gosh this breeze is everything we're here in august and it is so hot so humid so just be aware with that take relief where you can get it yeah make sure you're drinking lots of water absolutely we care about you <laughs> we do so far so great this boat tour is just 
gorgeous. I, it's just nice seeing the lake from another perspective, you know? And it's so nice being out on a boat. Yes, it sure is. And our first stop here is on this little beach. They have a shaman here and they offer packets. They do spiritual cleansing as well as massages. And I think the clay mask, right? Yeah. She said it was 300 pesos for that. Or you can buy some of that mineral mask you can take home with you. I believe that was 200 pesos. They had it bottled here. So yeah, this is something to offer an activity here if you would like to do it. We are going to pass because later in this video we are going to do some of these activities at our next day. So Ooh. yeah, let's get back on the boat. There's so many birds on this island right here. It's called Karen Island. Karen. Karen. <laughs> oh, Karen Island. Karen. Karen Island. Oh man, I can't hear. <laughs> These years are getting old, people. <laughs> it's, it's not Karen Island. <laughs> That's an island no one wants to go to. That is so true. This right here is the aquatic garden. They've got some beautiful lily pads right here. Yeah. There's butterflies flip, flip, flitting around. <laughs> This place right behind us here is where we're going to stay tomorrow. It looks so nice. So excited. This island right here, I guess, has monkeys on it that are from Thailand. I believe they were brought here to do a study. Let's see if we can find some. I can see the trees moving, but I don't see any. All right, so we see one right up here, but he's absolutely massive. On the way in, we kept seeing these signs that say, don't feed the monkeys, and I can see why. Extremely obese. Honestly, it's pretty sad to see animals in that kind of condition. Like these are wild animals and they are so massive. They probably can't even climb in the trees anymore. Yeah, that's why people food is not meant for wild animals. Oh wow, this is the other monkey island as there are two and up here are spider monkeys which are native here. It's really cool how much biodiversity there is. There's also a bunch of herons. We saw some iguanas and other birds too. Herons are Karens. Herons are Karens or <laughs> Watch out for the Heron Karens. <laughs> well, I said Herons or Karens. Oh, I know what you said. I'm rolling with the punches here, people. Pick on Adam Day. <laughs> <laughs> and something we didn't mention yet is Katemako is a part of a bigger biosphere reserve called Los Tuxlas. And here you'll find volcanoes, rivers, waterfalls, you name it. It's definitely like an ecotourist dream. And as you can see, it's quite incredible. That was so much fun. It's just so nice to be out on the water in a boat. The weather turned out for us, those blue skies, so many birds out there. And I especially like that they have a centralized ticket booth. Mm -hmm. Yes, people are selling tickets everywhere, but they bring you down, you pay a fixed price, and it tells you everything that you're gonna do, so you know what you're getting before you do it. And how long was the tour? The tour was just under an hour, but I imagine it could be a little bit longer if you stopped and got a cleansing or a massage that first place or stopped at the Nanciaga and did a tour. I think it was a hundred pesos they said to get off and do a tour there. So it could be longer but just being out there was really cool. Yes it was. All right well let's continue down the Malacona. I love that idea. Come on. Right here behind me, this man is selling te gogolo, which is a freshwater snails. Out on the boat, we actually saw the divers diving down to get these snails. Normally, you know, we're very adventurous and we try everything, but we've been having a little bit of stomach problems lately, so we're just not gonna risk it. <laughs> but when you're here, try this and let us know how it is. It looks like it's mixed with some pico de gallo and some salsa on it. It looks delicious, but just not now for us. <laughs> yeah, it's gotta be kind of like an escargot, I would guess. Yeah, yeah. And again, nice people everywhere. We were talking about the tecagolos, and the guy was like, here, take a look at my spoon, take some photos. Like, Mexicans are just so polite, and they really want to share their culture and food with yeah, everyone. I'm proud of it, as they should be. They should be. And here you can see, yeah, there's a bunch of little vendors set up selling all the good stuff. Tecagolo, and if you haven't said it, just say it right now. Tecagolo, 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 tecagolo. <laughs> <laughs> Three times is all you got. That's all I got. <laughs> and I believe this Malacona is 1.5 kilometers and along it there's a ton of restaurants and little shops like this selling everything you need to have a good time here. Let's stop monkeying around people. <laughs> oh look at that. 
Hola, and if you need a ride, look at that right there. That's cool. They got some music playing. And also, you will find a ton of birds nesting in the trees here. I believe there's over 575 species of birds here. So, wow. Yeah. That is incredible. <laughs> but here's a traveler tip don't walk underneath the trees because there's a lot of poop that might be falling on that cabeza. Well, we can show them right here on the ground. Wow. Yeah, I'm going to walk quickly through this area here. <laughs> <laughs> and it turned out so gorgeous today. We were a little bit worried because it's been predicting thunderstorms all day, every day for the yeah. past week. But you know what? What do they know? The weather's <laughs> changing all the time. Don't live your life based on a weather report. You just got to go out and live it. And you know what? If it rains, you get wet. Exactly. We're country collectors. You can't let that stop you. Let's keep going. <laughs> but it's so true. Like we, every single day, we're like, oh, it's going to rain. It's going to rain. We get upset. And then it turns out like this. It rains at night and in the morning, like some big storms. But... Yeah, then the days are nice like this. Live today because it could be the only day you have. Yes, live with no regrets, people. Or regrets. <laughs> and we're actually gonna head down this way. I wanted to get a little closer look to like the old Mad and I saw a beautiful tree over there. So come along with us. And right here along the Malacon is the bus station that we came into yesterday. So this is a good landmark for you because you're gonna need to come in and go out from here. Yeah, unless you're driving yourself. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> Ooh, and look what we have right over here. You know, we love seeing these <laughs> colorful town signs. Catemaco, it's a wonderful place to come down and snap a photo. Looks like we are on the dirt road now. <laughs> That's right, where well, we're going, we don't need paved roads. <laughs> and what's this, the boat graveyard? <laughs> R.I.P. <laughs> it's a good resting place though. That's right, this seat has seen over 1,000 butts. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, and check out this tree. Okay, on Google Maps, it is called Arbol Magico. And I can totally see why this would be the magic tree. Look at those branches and it's like covered in all these air plants. I see some cactus up there, some grasses. The Spanish moss hanging. And what a beautiful environment. Like this is its own little biosphere right here on this tree. Yeah, so neat. Wow. I feel like you'd see this in like storybooks. Definitely. Maybe in, where did the elves live in? <sighs> Rivendell. <laughs> Rivendell, that's where they, you see this in Rivendell. And while we are in this state of enchantment under this magical tree, we would love to give a shout out to our very special new patrons. Tina, Jeannie. Steven and Jason. Thank you so much for becoming a part of this community. We're so grateful and blessed to have you here. Thank you for helping to create yeah. this magic every yes. single week. We couldn't do it without you. It's so true. And if you would like to become a part of our Patreon community, we will put the link in the description below. All right, let's keep going. Something very interesting we just learned is that this area used to be the old stomping ground of the Olmecs, which is the oldest major civilization here in Mexico. They lived here in the lowlands along the Gulf of Mexico in Veracruz and Tabasco and created these colossal head sculptures. This one is a replica, but it is still so cool. I wonder if that's where the term don't have a big head comes from. <laughs> It could be. <laughs> and it looks like here there's a little hiking path that goes around. We were just out there in the boat earlier. This is really relaxing. I love this exploring that we're doing together today. Oh, wow. I'm pretty sure we just stumbled on a pentagram right here. Something we haven't mentioned yet is that Catemaco is known as La Tierra de Brujos or the land of the sorcerers. It's the witchcraft capital of Mexico and an internationally recognized hub of magic. Here in Catemaco, they practice spells, sorcery work, natural healings, as well as spiritual cleansings. I even read that every year they host an annual witchcraft festival that is held every March that attracts 5,000 people from around the world. Wow. Who is ready for a waterfall road trip? Me, me, me. <laughs> I know Adam is just up the road in San Andreas. Andres Tuxla. There is a waterfall. I'm going to butcher the name, but it goes by El Salto Ejipantla, I believe. Mm. And I saw pictures. It looks absolutely gorgeous. We don't know how we're going to get there yet, but if there's a will, there's a way. So let's go find a ride. 
And right down here, it looks like there's some restaurants, which might be nice to get some lunch down on the water. Did somebody say lunch on the water? <laughs> and there's actually people swimming down here, which we didn't see in town. So maybe this is a good spot to come swimming. I believe this is the place that our boat driver pointed out when we were driving by and said this was a good beach for swimming. Oh, okay. Great. So we came back down to the city center at the Zocalo because that's where the most cabs usually are. And we just got in one for 170. We heard it should range from about 150 to 170. So we're super psyched and we can't wait to get to this waterfall. Wow, that took a lot longer than I thought. I think it was like 25 minutes. Yeah, it was beautiful driving yeah. though, through lots of fields, a couple of little towns. Yeah. And it turned out it was only 160. I heard him wrong. Say Senta and say Tenta. You know, they always mess me up. But yeah, this is definitely a tourist spot right here. You can see it's all set up. I think the entrance is over here. So let's head in. And it looks like right here is where you pay. How much is it? They are 30 each. 30 so pesos. about a dollar fifty per person. Awesome. There's a sign right here that says this way it takes us to the Mirador and the Alberca which I think is the pool and then this way is going to take you down. We heard that it's 242 steps down so down and up is going to be 500 steps. I don't know if we're there today. Can we <laughs> just go down and someone will carry us back yeah, up? I'm feeling a bit whooped. So let's just head to the Mirador first and check it out. Wow, we are like out in the jungle here. I love it. La Selva. It's Ooh, gorgeous. It looks like a suspension bridge. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Definitely don't want to be drunk on this. I think that guy might have had a couple. <laughs> Whoa. I haven't had any and I feel like I've had a couple. <laughs> You can hear the sound of Cascada e Yi Pantla. We just asked this lovely lady over here and she was nice enough to e Yi Pantla for us. <laughs> so we yeah. must be getting close. I'm yeah, getting super excited. I think the Mirador is just ahead. Wow, that's incredible. What an amazing waterfall. It was absolutely worth the ride to get out here. It is 40 meters wide and 50 meters tall. And it might look familiar because it was featured in Mel Gibson's Apocalypto. Ooh. And I can see why, because it is just gorgeous. I love it. You can see the mist down there. And there's all the people. That's if you hike down, you're going to end up down there. <laughs> Not today. <laughs> we will not be hiking down there today, but if you do, please send us a photo and tell us how it is. Yes, we love that. And right over here, it looks like they have a nice big seating area with bathrooms. And then in front of us here, I believe, is a little tienda where we can get some beverages. Oh, let's see what they have. And what's awesome is the pool. So this is included in your ticket. And you can just go there and lounge all day. You can even bring your own food here and have a picnic, a really nice afternoon. What are you in the mood for? A uh, beer? A soda? <laughs> I think we deserve a beer. How I about agree. You? <laughs> I'm going to go with a Corona. What about you? Same. Those Coronas, for favor? Oh, and they look nice and cold. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, cold cerveza, my love. We all earned this today. Oh, especially you guys. Thank you so much for coming along with us. Yes. It was 25 pesos for this, which is a deal. Oh, that hit the spot. It really does. <laughs> wow, what an incredible day. It really was. And it would have been nowhere near as much fun mm -hmm. if you hadn't been here to share it with. It's so true. We're going to finish up these beers, get a ride, head back to town, and take a well-needed shower <laughs> and sleep. And we were actually going to make this just one video, but after talking, it's going to be super long. So we decided to break it into two parts. So next week we're going to show you our stay over in Nantiaga at the Ecological Reserve. And I can't wait. I'm a bit nervous because it is smoking hot out and there's no AC. It's very rustic, but I think we can do it. I think so too. I mean, I'm like an oven, so <laughs> she's the one that's going to be baking. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much again. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a big thumbs up, comment, subscribe, and don't forget to ling 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 the bell. We'll see you next time. Adios.